welcome back to another video. So I hope you've all been having a wonderful week. Today I've got a special sort of video. I've just completely cleaned out and reorganised my art desk. And some of you have been, uh, some of you guys have been asking about how I store things and wanting to see a little bit more of my desk setup. So I thought this would be a good opportunity, as I had everything off the desk, to sort of show you how I put the desk together. And now I'm just going to walk you through where I sort of store everything. So the thing that I try to do is to keep all my supplies on my desk itself. I have a few things in some boxes on another shelf and they are my ceramic paints, fabric paints and things that are not to do with everyday drawing. But I also try and keep as much as possible on my desk because I find that if I put things in a box and put them away on a shelf, I don't use them at all because you know you forget I forget they're there or I just I just, just doesn't occur to me to go and get them so I end up not using them but that's why I, I have so much stuff out on my desk so first of all right at the back here I have a whiteboard and on the whiteboard I have clipped pieces of artwork and I've put put them up there with these cloves pegs and I actually painted these with acrylic a couple of years ago and I use them to just clip the drawings up on the board and what's nice about this is a that it adds some nice colour to the background here and um, I got some nice artwork to keep me inspired but also I can change them out so I can I keep rotating these pieces and put up whatever I fancy at that particular time the ones I have up at the moment are none of them are by me they're all by other artists that I've uh, come across on the internet some of them I've bought and the rest have all been gifts so they're actually all from around the world so this is a hand cut silhouette from America these this is Mr Darcy and Elizabeth Bennett and these are from Italy this is Ariel this is from Japan uh, this is obviously frozen and this is from America and then that one there um, is from Austria so um, some of them are originals some of them are prints and I like they're what I have up there at the moment and I can just change them out whenever I feel like it so that's nice so I have that at the back then here I have a chest of drawers now this is just sort of a plain wooden chest of drawers but I have um, stuck these pieces of pattern paper on the front and these little labels. I haven't actually written on the labels yet as I'm still reorganising the drawers and some of them don't have much in them at the moment. So this one is full of bits of foam and cotton pads and sort of things for blending. So in this one I have my distress inks here. I've got a, me a memento ink, I've got some Versamark inks and I also have these little glass bottles. This one I have just some bits of painting, this is one that doesn't have much in it. So I've got a gouache and a, wa a watercolour tube and hopefully I will get some more gouache at some point to put in there but that's the beginning of the painting drawer. And in here this is all my refills, so my Copic marker um, nibs, my Pentel pocket brush pen refills, this is just sort of pretty much the Copic marker uh, spare nibs, spare inks, that sort of thing. And down here I have just some cello tape, some masking tape, double sided tape and then in this one I have a couple of odd things actually. This this is a corner cutter so I love this, you just cuts the corners off, Ra no it's a corner rounder sorry, it rounds the corners of pieces of artwork. This is a battery operated eraser and this is a piece of electrical cable and um, the reason I have this is because I seem to have an inability to open the Winsor and New Newton ink bottles. The lids, I don't know what it is, but I, I just can't open them at all with my hands. I, I don't know why, but I found this to be very helpful because this is a um, slightly rubbery cable. I just sort of tighten it round the lid of the bottle and it, it opens it, it just sort of um, loosens the lid so I can take the top of the bottle very easily. And I actually also use this to undo the back of my pencil sharpener, my mechanical pencil sharpener. So if I can't get a lid off, I have that to sort of grip it for me. Okay, so that's what's in the chest of drawers. On top of it, I have my Colour Feast 
palette guide which I think I talked a bit about in my colouring tips video but I keep this up here. Then I have a couple of embossing powders, I've got silver and clear, then I have four tubes of acrylic, I've got blue, yellow, red and white and I can pretty much mix any colour I want using these four tubes. Then I have some tacky glue, I have my Winsor & Newton masking fluid and then next to them I have my two watercolour sets. So here is my Winsor & Newton travel pan and then here of course is my Japanese watercolour set. So down here on this side of the table I have my pencil sharpener and this is a mechanical one by Faber-Castell and it has a little wheel at the back there has a little tray and it, it's actually um, attached to the edge of the table so it's solid you have to screw it onto the edge of the table and that way you your pencils don't get wobbled around as you sharpen so it helps to stop breakages I also have my pack of tripless fine liners which I sort of just sit on the edge here and then I have a jam jar which I've put a sticker a sticker sheet round and this is, these have got my Prismacolor color erase um, pencils, sketching pencils. Then as we move over, I obviously have these two little plants, which most of you have probably seen before. They, they're in pretty much all my videos, and a lot of you have um, mentioned these. This one, I actually, there's a, bit, there's a bigger one out in the garden, and this is a cutting from it. And then this one here is one I picked up in a garden centre. I actually don't know the names for either of them. They're just little sort of uh, succulents, and I, I really like them. So at the back here, um, here I have my all my Copic marker ink refills, which I store in this little tower here. Then I have a storage system for my markers, and at the side here I have a ruler but I keep my acrylic stamping blocks here and they just sort of s slot in there at the side. On top I have my Winsor & Newton drawing inks. At the moment I've got my Copic markers and my Pro markers mixed up and I quite like it that way because then I can see what I all my collection all at once and you can blend you can use both of them and blend them together so it's absolutely fine having them all together so I've just sort of grouped them in sort of basic color groups so here I have the earth group so all the browns skin colors are down here then here I have reds and pinks then here I have yellows and oranges and then in here I have blues, I also have blue greens as well in here because I don't have that many different slots so the blue greens and the blues are in here, greens are here then in here I have purples, uh, here are greys, uh, black and my blender, my two blenders that I have I actually don't use these but they came with sets and then in here I have my collection of Faber-Castell Pitt Artist pens then in this one I have a collection of liquid pearls and some stickles uh, glitter glue, they just live in there. Then in this one I have some pots of glitter, just normal glitter, and some more embossing powder. And then this one I keep some little handheld pencil sharpeners and my collection of rubbers, all various sizes. I have a putty rubber as well and I actually have a rubber pencil. And then in here I sort of keep my 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 paint pens, my gel pens and sort of my metallic markers and actually I've got some um, ceramic pens in here and I have my Winker Stella brush pen. I sort of just like the the final, the finalised um, detail pen. So the highlights and the stuff. So I keep those up there. They do fall out a bit occasionally, so I have to be a bit careful with those. And then to this side, I store my sketchbooks. Now these aren't all of them by any means, and these aren't all the papers I have. I do have some really large, big sheets of watercolour paper that I have to store on a shelf. But these are the sketchbooks that I'm using at the moment. Oh, I also have a ruler stuck down the side here and a 
calligraphy pen set as well. But in here I have my tan tone sketchbook, my various size sketchbooks, my Kenson one that I use in a lot of my videos, and then I keep here my my two pads of Bristol board. I have a my watercolour or my mixed media sketchbook, and then I have a, a big tan one, and then I have a folder here at the back, which I'm keeping all my colour charts, my colour charts, and then all the colour charts that come with the pens and things. So I keep them all in the same place. And any information that I pick up from art shops about pens or you know just stuff that I pick up, all the sort of the literature to do with the art supplies I keep in that folder. And right at the back here behind the books I have um, a series of little hooks here and I hang my different whoops my different washi tapes on the hooks just so that they're out of the way because they do they do sort of fall off and roll around quite a lot so I like to keep them hanging up and I can see them all there and then I have my polychromos coloured pencils at the moment I'm keeping them in this I do want to perhaps find a slightly better way of storing them but if I keep them in this then I actually end up using them a lot more and they're, they're really good to use sometimes I like to use them with my Copic markers to add some extra shading particularly when I'm lacking a marker colour so I'll use a couple of pencils to just add some depth or something and it's, a, it's much easier for me if they're actually out so I keep them in this and then I have some more jam jars these are my inking pens, my Copic multi-liners, my brush pens, detail pens, they're all in there in this jar are various things an embossing pen broken pair of scissors, a bone folder, a couple of biros and a couple of sort of normal pencils. And then in this one I have a ruler and then these are my Faber-Castell grip fine pens. These are also very fine felt tip pens. Um, and then I have these three enormous chameleon colour tone pens which um, I got from my school box unboxing last November so if you've seen that video you would have seen me use these. So this is how I organise my desk and this is the full setup. I do have two shelves behind me that have my um, ceramic paints in a box, my glass paints in a box and my scrapbooking paper in a box and I just kind of keep them in the boxes they came in and they're just stored up there and then I have a shelf that just has the big sheets of paper. I do. I have watercolour paper in like an A3 size, so it can't possibly fit here. And so I just sort of have that up there with some Derwent pastel paper, my folder where I keep all my finished pieces, some old sketchbooks. There's just like there's like a little sort of shelf of extra bits. But all the stuff that I use every day and that I want to use every day is all here. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time.